Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in long data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding number of units per nationality, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Airbnb interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the number of apartments per nationality that are owned by people under 30 years old. Since a person can own one or more properties, duplicates should be removed. Output the nationality along with the number of apartments. Sort records by apartments count in descending order. Okay, so basically we are given two data frames, Airbnb host and Airbnb units and our expected output is a pandas data frame with two columns, nationality and the apartment count and uh, it should be ordered in decreasing manner of number of apartments, right? So let's preview the uh, two data frames. So Airbnb host, so the information is host ID, nationality, gender, and age. And Airbnb units, we have, you know, host ID, unit ID, unit type, beds, country, city, etc. So the first thing that we should note is the information is spread out in two different data frames, right? So we need to merge the information. Also, make sure that you understand that we, we want per nationality, not country, right? So that is important. So you can be an American and you can have Airbnb properties in different parts of the world, right? So you want by nationality, not in which part of the world you own the property, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and merge the information, right? So what we can do is we can use pandas.merge method, right? So we can write pandas so pd dot merge then you write the name of the first data frame so airbnb units then second data frame airbnb hosts right uh if you look at it right so with the column that we are joining them them on is uh host id and it is the same in both of these data frames so we can write on right host id right uh you can join it anyway either left join or inner join how is equal to inner right uh let me run this let's see what we are getting right okay so now you see uh you have the information from both of these tables however if you look at it there are a lot of duplicates right so the first thing that we should do is we should drop duplicates so if we drop duplicates right and let's now see what we are getting Right, so now we have dropped duplicates. So you have information from both of these data frames. Now the question says that the age should be less than 30 and unit type should be apartment, right? So obviously by this time we know how to achieve this using Boolean indexing, right? So let's save this in a data frame called DF, right? And then from this data frame called DF, the first thing that we need to do is DF of age column should be less than 30 right and from the unit type column so df unit type is equal to equal to apartment right so if both of these are true then it will return a true value and it will act as a filter and this is how we do boolean indexing let me run this let's see what we are getting so now you have only two such apartments, right, which are owned by people who are less than uh, age 30 and the unit type is an apartment, right? So once we have this, then what we can do is we can group by the nationality, right, and then count the unit IDs, right? So what we can do is we can write dot group by which column nationality right and then from the column unit id what we can do is we can count right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now here we have unit id equal to so basically this is the count of unit id why are we not getting the nationality column because we grouped by that right so to get that either you can reset index or you can write as index is equal to false Right, let me run this again. So now you have nationality and unit ID. Now, obviously this is not what we want. We want the name to be changed to apartment count. So we can, you know, rename. So let's write dot rename. What do we need to rename? Columns is equal to key value pairs. The old name is unit ID. I need to change it to apartment 
account, right? Now let me run this. So now you have nationality and apartment count. Everything is good. The only thing that is remaining is sort the records by apartments count in descending order. So now here we also need to write dot sort values, right? By which column apartment count and in decreasing manner. So we write ascending is equal to false, right? So ascending is equal to false. Okay. So this looks good. Let me run this. Okay. So now our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay. So if you look at it, same question, right? You have two different tables, Airbnb host, units, expected output is same as well. If you preview the tables, the information is same as well, right? So again, the first thing that we need to do is we need to merge the information. So what we can do is we can write from this Airbnb units, right? Uh, let's alias this as AU. Let's inner join, right? Let's inner join the second table, Airbnb hosts right aliased as let's say a h right on airbnb units dot host id is equal to airbnb hosts dot host id right once you perform the inner join then we need to you know keep let me run this right let's see what we are getting so this will be again that you know uh, a lot of duplicates and all that you have information then we are only you know uh, going to keep those values where age is less than 30 and the unit type is an apartment so we can write where right so where age age column is in which table it's in Airbnb host. So ah dot age is less than 30, right? And the unit type column is in Airbnb units. So we write au dot unit type is equal to an apartment, right? So now let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now only the apartments and age will be less than 30. Okay. So now once we have this, then what we can do is for each of the nationality we need to count distinct unit ids so what we can do is we can write group by nationality column is in which table in airbnb host so we like write a h dot nationality right and then return that nationality right so a h dot nationality and then you count the distinct values from the unit id column unit id column is in airbnb units so we write au dot unit id and we need to alias this as apartment count right okay so now once we have that let me run this so now we have nationality and apartment count however the only thing that is remaining now is sort the records by apartment count in descending order so we can write order by right so order by apartment count in decreasing manner okay so now let me run this so now our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to this pass of the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was just merge the information from both of these tables or data frames and then we keep only those rows where age was less than 30 and unit type is an apartment and then we grouped by nationality counted distinct unit ids alias this as what was required and ordered by apartment count in decreasing manner so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video